Good day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Talks Latan. This program is designed to splendor the exceptional achievements of fellow Johorians in their respective domain. In this episode, our focus of interest will be on his kind of niches, two unsung heroes who have contributed enormous bit in the growth of their respective areas of interest in Johor. Today we have with us two of Iskandar Malaysia's very irrepressible personalities who have um, excelled in their field of work. They have worked vehemently towards their passion in securing the sustainability of social and gender in Iskandar Malaysia, which is slowly mushrooming the success of instilling the need for social awareness amongst the citizens of Johor. This special guest of mine, what would I say? Well, I would say they are very enchanting, and I'm glad to have both of them together in our show today. Welcome to the show. Gentlemen, how are you today? Fine, thank you. All right. Okay, Mr. Ali Suresh. To people who don't know who you are, how would you describe yourself? Uh, then to describe myself per se, I think I would just describe what I do because what I do is a reflection of who I am. And I am the editor for Iskandar Malaysia's uh, community newspaper. Uh, it's an English uh, medium newspaper catering for uh, live, work, play, invest, lifestyle and property sections of Iskandar Malaysia. We do not carry political news, but uh, what we are trying to champion is uh, the voice of the community. So wow, that's very interesting. Uh, so what is the Iskandarian? The Iskandarian is the heart and soul of the people living in Iskandar Malaysia. We have first class infra, but we need to get our people ready to use all this infra as well, right? So the soft part of things is uh, to get people well educated, speaking English, yeah. uh, to get them uh, on par with moving the structure of things, right? So that's where we come in to connect and communicate uh, the community together with uh, the private and the public sector on what's going on, to keep everyone on the same page, I guess. It's more of uh, what the Chief Minister of our state is trying to do with the agenda of Swara Hati Johor. Uh, do you think that uh, the Iskandarian is the mouthpiece of Swara Hati Johor? Uh, Swara Hati Johor is uh, championed by the state government, mm -hmm. right? And uh, it won't be fair to say that we are the mouthpiece for them, but we are one of the mouthpieces for the entire Johor, I guess. Eh? Excellent. So we also inculcate uh, the spirit of Swara Hati Johor, but at the same time, we also promote uh, this kind of nation's agenda. Excellent. Uh, the, uh, the story of uh, social agenda, social enterprise, um, social capital, social entrepreneurs. And um, I've uh, come across this thing called IMSHA, it's kind of like a social hero awards. Yeah. Uh, can you please tell me what is IMSHA? Uh, perhaps before I go into IMSHA, I will need to let you know that we are also a social enterprise. Eh? And, wow. Uh, okay. What is a social enterprise? Quick recap for those who don't know. Eh? Social enterprise is like an NGO working in a corporate manner eh, uh, to give back to the community. Meaning we are not entirely for profit, we are for the community. But uh, we don't see why not everyone get a pay scale while we're doing it, right? So social enterprise is doing a community justice but with a corporate structure of doing it. And okay. We are one of the few social enterprises in Malaysia. Eh, and uh, we started two and a half years ago. And it's still a word that is being uh, popularized now, so okay. it takes time for people to understand. So, coming back to your question, which was Imsha. Yes. Imsha, that's Imsha right. Imsha is the Iskandar Malaysia Social Heroes Award that we uh, started last year. This was to spot, recognize and cultivate uh, social behavior in uh, Iskandar Malaysia. So, we have a uh, property, yeah. we have a uh, infra, we have this, we have that, we have blueprints, all sorts of things, right? But uh, now we all realize that uh, we need to get uh, people to be resilient, eh? get the community to come together and say, hey, we are looking out for each other and let us do what the corporate guys can't do because you guys are busy working and uh, finding uh, money and whatnot. But yes. we are the ones here trying to keep community in order and whatnot, right? So we have all the champions who are doing work on the ground and uh, they don't get the their voice heard by, by everyone. Eh? So Imsha was a platform to highlight what these people are doing and at the same time uh, spot meaning we spot who they are, recognize meaning we give them recognition for what they do and uh, cultivate meaning after people see what they have done, 
the man on the street might say, hey, I want to be part of that, man. I want to do the same thing as well. So, uh, Imsha is the, is the soul of uh, Iskandar Malaysia eventually. And uh, the journey began in a short manner. It was just an idea that came up in a coffee shop. And uh, we had no clue what we were talking about. So, we got our technical partner, Foss & Sullivan, who is a multinational company, uh, to come in and uh, take care of the technical aspects of things. And uh, as the snowball went along and then we realized that Imsha was bigger than what we imagined. So we said, let's make it even more bigger. So we got Patla, our fifth Prime Minister, eh, Tun Badawi, to be our patron. And uh, he gave it the best flair on top of the whole thing. Eh? And we got some players who supported us in terms of sponsorship. Eh? And uh, we received over 180 nominations and we gave out 20 over Imsha Awards for individuals and uh, organizations. So it's going to be bigger, better this year. Stay tuned to find out more. Was it a very extensive, um, formidable, extensive, onerous work for you to get all these uh, NGOs together and then you, you put them into ballot and people call in, nominate them, and then you choose uh, and pick the, the right ones who are the winners. Was it a, a very onerous uh, procedure? Yes and no. Yes, meaning uh, the rudiments of getting things done was definitely uh, taxing, mm -hmm. but uh, it was a team effort. Okay? So mm -hmm. everyone playing their part made, uh, gave it a good balance, so no one felt as if they were burdened with any form of duty. But uh, it was a good team effort, from sponsors to all the way to uh, the guys who were working on the ground. Right? And, uh, yeah. So I, I guess it was a yes and a no. Yeah, tell me, uh, Eddie, if... Uh you uh, had actually um, gone through any challenges while doing this. For example, there weren't financial support or there weren't enough uh, labels to help you out. Did you go through any of this? We are a social enterprise, so easy to convince people about what we do. Eh? We hire single mothers, we hire breast cancer survivors, we hire Parkinson's disease survivors as well. And uh, we give importance to women empowerment and whatnot in what we do. Eh? Meaning, my office is filled with more ladies than than men. <laughs> and, uh, wow, that's that's really nice of you. Yeah, so it was I not mean, easy, and there yeah. was a lot of red tape. And uh, I guess the part that was really difficult was uh, the lack of information. Meaning, um, in Malaysia, we don't know where to apply for grants. Eh? We oh. don't know where to. We do. We know, but we don't know the know how. Yeah. So we know the know, but the know-how is not there. But I, I believe that EDC has been set up in Johor now, uh, Entrepreneur Development Corporation. Corporation yes. And uh, I believe that if we work closer with them, it will be a one-stop centre for all entrepreneurs in Johor. Alright. Uh, where do you see the Skandar in five years from now? Five years from now, I see in everyone's house, if can, every day. <laughs> Alright, like a daily newspaper. Yep. Alright, okay. Uh, one last question. If you could uh, time travel back to day one of your startup and have 15 minutes with your former self to communicate any lesson you have acquired with the intention of saving yourself mistakes and heartaches, mm. what, would you tell, what would you tell yourself? Five years, is it? Uh, yeah, years probably, back. yeah. Five years back. Five years back, if I met myself or told myself, may, make friends with KK Wong <laughs> back then itself, and you know, don't wait until now to be his friend. He's eh? uh, <laughs> he, he definitely a champion of our society, and uh, maybe okay. I, would, I would tell myself, eh, definitely I would bring KK Wong into the picture five years back as well, because I've learned a lot from him. I've seen how he has uh, morphed his uh, organization, mm -hmm. and at the same time, what I like about him is if we tell him a suggestion, eh, he plays it around in his head for a minute and then, you know, he sees the, the big picture, he puts it into action and next thing you know, he's chasing us, hey, what's next? Yeah. What to do next, you know? He's, he's that much of a gung ho person. So if I were to meet myself five years back, I would say, go and work for him first, for two years at least, learn from him and then come out and be a social entrepreneur. <laughs> in a nutshell, we need more of Mr. KK Wong around in Johor. Definitely. <laughs> okay, uh, back to um, Mr. KK Wong. To people who don't know who you are, how would you describe yourself in your own words? Uh, friendly, open-minded. I uh, should mention open-minded means in the sense that I'm open for all ideas. Then I will make sure, I will go through and make sure that the uh, workable, and I will get it get it on. And that is my uh, sort of uh, character. Huh? And also the other one, the most important uh, forte in my side is that is the passion. Yeah. 
is uh, my passion and commitments. I think everybody knows uh, that uh, my strong point is the passion and commitments. Even my bosses also know that whatever uh, I need to do, I may be very passionate. Mr. Wong, how does your company differ from your competitors? My company differ from my competitor. Oh, that's a tough, tough question. Okay, uh, what, what I can say is that our company, uh, Yemland, that is TV itself, so yeah. uh, we focus our interest other than uh, making money, profit, etc., cash flow, also uh, in giving back to the society. Wow. Now we're doing a lot of uh, cultural, you know, all these things, um, corporate social responsibilities, mm -hmm. uh, event activities. Right. Uh, also, we do a lot of um, uh, those uh, create, create real lifestyle in uh, kind of for communities uh, for, mm -hmm. for, the, for the township. Uh, we have many, many firsts. There are many firsts in Sri Austin that make it different from other, uh, other developers. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we are the first uh, township that actually use EM, that effective microorganism. Oh, okay. It means uh, those the beneficial microorganisms that uh, produce through natural process. And we use it for our landscaping, mm -hmm. use it for our uh, ponds, and use it for our sewerage treatment plant. So all these are actually uh, healthy. And second first is that we are the first township that signed uh, with Telecom Malaysia on the high-speed broadband verified. Mm -hmm. Until now, we have four agreements signed with Telecom Malaysia mm -hmm. and about 3,000 units. That is the biggest. So much so that Telecom Malaysia has given us an award. Mm -hmm. The first township that signed with the TM, with the broadband, southern region. Mm -hmm. So this actually, uh, why we signed with them, basically we want the residents to move in Immediately they have uh, internet. Really very important nowadays. Right? Well, after the com line, we take some time to put in. The third first is that we are the first township that has bicycle lane in Johor. Mm -hmm. That is very important because uh, one of our mission, our main mission, is to create lifestyle and communities. Mm -hmm. So these are lifestyle we're creating. We have a bicycle lane. The first in Johor. Wow. Well, we all the three first, as much so that Ilda. This kind of regional development authority, all right, uh, recognize us as the first smart, healthy city and communities in this kind of Malaysia, and that was launched by our Menteri mm -hmm. right, Besar, and also our chairman Tun Mr. Yatam, mm -hmm. he came. Uh, they launched last year, February, and with that, we also followed by the first township that have two smoke-free town parks. Right. Right. We got no first. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, first. So uh, that is the difference between us and the other uh, developers. Right? And we focus a lot more on uh, environments. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of buyers that uh, walk in, they like the place. Okay. Right? It's the uh, ambience that you very hard to, to describe, right? the feel that you like. So much so that is the, the lifestyle and that is the environment is something that people like. I'm sure I will get more out of first initial thing. Yeah, you are more like a trendsetter in the job, right? I can say that. Which is good. Okay. What is the biggest challenge you came across and how did you handle yourself mentally for that? Well, the biggest challenge uh, in my life is the, when I took over this Sri Austin project. That is the challenge. This was all the while, all the while I was uh, under the finance department, huh? doing finance huh? for, for year and for share properties. Right. And uh, the, the previous group the CEO put me the charge of this project in 2020 and 2005. Yes. 2005 started off this project. So I guess the first why is the challenge because I have no experience in running a township. Mm. All the while I was thinking of the uh, finance, finance, you know, uh, of finance. The township not easy. The township. And secondly, the township is bad. It's rubber and pumps. Jungle. Jungle. And it's at the, at the dead end. <laughs> dead end and it is surrounded by the uh, okay. The neighbor are the big big boys. A big boy like SPS on top of all. So and the worst is there are no access. There's no access to my township. So much so that all my uh, previous all my friends, the consultants say that this project will fail. <laughs> no way. The dead end. No access. How are you gonna build? So I took the challenge, which is really a, a big challenge. So mentally, what I prepared is that think positive, like I think positive, uh, be more creative, 
mm-hmm. more innovative to build a different type of township. So I have, uh, when I move in, I change the layout of the uh, layout of the whole master plan from all terraces to a variety of uh, products. We have a single double story, we have terraces, semi-detached, clusters, bungalows, apartments, and the next we are doing in the pipeline is the uh, mall, Shiozi Mall. So it's the whole township by itself. So I created it, and of course, it time, for two years we see the difference. I'm quite happy with that, the challenge, uh, but the uh, important thing is the passion. You make it happen. I think that's important. So a lot of hard work, definitely. Mm-hmm. And uh, I use, I, my, my style is always engaged right, and hands-on, mm-hmm. right, uh, also inclusive, mm-hmm. inclusive uh, style of management. So much so that my team, they are all, I create a culture with good teamwork in the company. Okay. So that is the the challenge and that is the results. Lately, uh, you have been uh, you have been actually uh, getting in lots of intern, interns from UTM and UTHM colleges and university all over Johor. So you do that too as well. You engage lots of uh, yeah, yeah. graduates. Uh, right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, recently, at uh, UM Land, UM Land, yeah. uh, our parent company, yeah. has signed an MOU with uh, UTM. Okay. All right. Uh, the MOU is basically to give uh, the students career opportunities, mm-hmm. collaboration. For example, we were engaged in a career, career talk. Mm-hmm. Right? We give uh, advice on technical know-how, etc. Mm-hmm. These are right. And we also may uh, take in uh, we may offer scholarship. Mm-hmm. Right? These are the things that we, we, we engage. So this is more for to, to enhance the, the students. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have won several awards to date, including the Social Hero of Iskandar Malaysia. What is your secret recipe, Mr. Wong? You keep on winning all the awards. Oh. <laughs> um, you ask me, I'm not sure really why so, so, so many awards. Uh, maybe the secret is that uh, you have to be there. You have to be there. All right? It means you have to have all your, your qualities, uh, you are going to have your CSR mm-hmm. uh, done up and you must, you must be around. When I say basically engage, right? mm-hmm. engagement. I engage with a lot of uh, event activities, uh, you know, CSR, etc. So it's much so that maybe people know about our township, yeah. know about me too. Right? So maybe and they, and they will offer us or recognize us, mm-hmm. that kind of township, mm-hmm. automatically. Okay. So I think. Um, Generally, the, the secret would be again passion. You gotta enjoy passion. Uh, passion again. You gotta enjoy uh, a great passion commitment. Uh, you enjoy your work. Uh, mm-hmm. Have initiative, mm-hmm. innovative, and creative. Mm-hmm. For example, uh, you know, uh, I created the Shiozhen Hills. Mm-hmm. I also created the the, the lakes. Right. So these are something that uh, different. We have been elsewhere right? in the products and the quality. All these are due to passion and hands-on uh, leadership. They are important. You know, something interesting about your newspapers is uh, uh, sometimes they use it as uh, as something to fall back when they do lectures because it's very informative. For example, real estate, health, music. I mean, the whole works is there. I feel it's a very information-based uh, paper, right? Okay, then um, we're coming to the uh, we have come to the last part of the show. Uh, would you like to say something to the viewers of Talks Latan, uh, Mr. Wong? Oh, viewers. <laughs> well, I think my advice is that uh, simple advice, right? Be very passionate in what you're doing, and definitely you achieve a lot mm-hmm. than what you expected. So be passionate and committed in what you're doing. Thank you. How about you, Sarah? Would you like to say anything to the viewers of Talks Latan? Yes. Uh, please support all community-led initiatives. Eh? And uh, do your part by sharing and liking all of this on your Facebooks. Eh? Share about TV Latan, share about this kind of... Share about all the good things that is going on in JB. We want to eradicate uh, the thought of people saying, ah, there's nothing going on in JB. There's a lot going on. It's just that no one is sharing the information. right? Okay. So share 
do your part and as citizens we are all responsible to do it so carry out your duties all right thank you very much okay then that uh, just wraps up uh, the the show for today a uh, big thank you to mr kk wong and mr eddie suresh for being here with us today despite the busy schedule we pray for your huge success in time to come and thank you very much again thank you we'll be back next week with more on talks klatan and we will see you later bye bye